video we're going to re-look at the windscreen wipe technique that Kev developed. So the cards are either going to be up there or the descriptions down here, depending on your preference. So what you're looking at is this short, close-in motion. Now, if Callum's here, he's on his live side, and I don't like this because he's scary. What I want to do is have him so I'm on his dead side, so he's got less power and less opportunity and less techniques. So we're going to add those two things together as a small drill. If you look at the Kegon videos, we do this nice, relaxed, swinging the arms. All from the hip, we're going to do it with the cane. So the end product of the technique, if Callum comes in with the arm, I want to knock the arm so he's not hitting me. I'm worried about this, so I'm going to take it back and push him away. So I've now got his dead side and he's given me lots of opportunities. I would be pushing on his elbow, not his forearm, but because we like Callum, I'm not going to inflict unnecessary pain. Could do it one-handed or two-handed. So for the sake of this at the moment, I'm going to hold my cane in this grip. And he's just very slowly going to bring his arm in. And I'm just going to push it to one side, the other arm's coming in. It's coming in. And when I feel like it, I'm going to push him to the dead side. I've got my control, I can take out his weapon. If it's one-handed, I can use the parry block, exactly the same. This isn't a strong block, so this relies on your hip movement, your body movement. I've taken him away, controlling the arm, I've got my strikes. Very simple, but very, very useful. Adapting this for the wheelchair, using the half cane, we're doing really slowly, we're just going to get into a little rhythm. So one, two, one, two. And this is the best way to start this technique off. Just like pushing your hands, Jill. And then whenever you, you get the motion, you come through and do the turn. So go back to the um, one, two, one, two. Now if I go from the other side, go to the other side back, from here, as you can see, to do this, it's a bit awkward for me, so I'm going to roll in and roll down. Again, I've got a lot of dead side here. I've got two hands on my cane, but it doesn't stop me from punching. If I wanted to, I could use the sticky cane principle, come up to the side of the head. Not very strong strike, but once it's there, the tap-ons, it's right against his temple, just tapping it on is going to disorientate him. So just start off gently with that right hand is up or down, it doesn't matter, because what you're doing is rolling over. Once you've got this, it's almost like the cross hand principle. If you look at the Wing Chun, and you sort of you're pushing one hand against the other hand into the body. Again, with the cane, it's coming over, same sort of principle, dead side. I've then got a jab upwards if I want it. The groin to present itself nicely as it always does when you're in a chair. I can pull back, start dead legging. You know, welcome to my world, your knees hurting now. And then just turn. You may not get the full turn like you do with everybody, because Chris had, when you look at the technique, he was moving forward, his, his, his whole body became involved, which is great. In the chair, we've got a really strong core stability, stability here, and we just push away. To be honest, if he's that distance away, I've now got control. I now feel more confident. I've got other techniques in my toolkit that I can actually use. Right, you know what to do by now. Do the what's it down now. Yeah, smash that, hit that, free that.